Technical wrestling has existed in pro wrestling for a long time. It's well regarded, yet rarely showcased in the mainstream. It's not the WWE's typical wrestling style. However, the superstars we're talking about today have made their way through the game by showing an interest and aptitude for the sport behind pro wrestling. As much as the WWE is sports entertainment, many of us still prefer the pro wrestling behind the entertainment. Focusing more on holds, takedowns, submissions and grappling, technical wrestling is about putting everything on the mat and finding ways to target, take down and submit your opponent. It's not for everyone, but those truly invested in the art of wrestling really appreciate it. So with that being said, here are our picks for the greatest 10 technical wrestlers in WWE history. First of all, special mentions to Bob Backlund, Dynamite Kid and Ricky Steamboat, who didn't make this particular list of mine but I do appreciate that they'll be a lot higher up in your lists. Number 10, Owen Hart. The self-proclaimed King of Hearts was an extraordinary talent. Owen was a fantastic worker who could do pretty much any style you threw in front of him. Owen was also voted as the best flying wrestler in 87 and 88, something which spoke volumes about his talent. He did mat wrestling, catch wrestling, high flying, and was very agile as well. Owen's style was arguably what wrestling became when you look at the work of Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, and Seth Rollins, and because of that, he was overlooked in his time. Owen was arguably more talented than his brother, but the fact that he never had that popularity and could never get out of his brother's shadow held him back. There aren't many bad Owen Hart matches that you can pick out, and some of his greatest work can be seen in his feud with his older brother, Brett especially with their amazing WrestleMania 10 match, which is often regarded as one of the greatest wrestling matches in history. Number nine, Chris Jericho. Jericho was one of the best in-ring workers during the 90s and 2000s. His in-ring style mixed the styles of North America, Japan, and Mexico, and he could put on wrestling clinics in the ring. He's commonly noted for his ability to evolve and adapt no matter the setting. Y2J frequently utilizes a combination of international wrestling styles, including a host of excruciating submissions. He could be as agile as a bird, stretch opponents with his submissions like his Walls of Jericho, or find ways to take down his opponents like his suplexes and power bombs. His technical skills were more evident in his early years, with his work in New Japan, ECW and WCW, but he's also had some great wrestling matches with the likes of Shawn Michaels in 03 and 08, as well as his feud with Rey Mysterio in 09. Number 8, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig. Kurt Hennig prided himself on being one of the all-time greats. There's a reason why he's called Mr. Perfect because everything he did in that ring looked so perfect. He had a successful amateur wrestling career at the University of Minnesota, which helped. His arsenal ranged from his amazing drop kick, the rolling neck snap, knee bar drop, and of course, his beautiful perfect plex. His matches were exceptional. You appreciated Hennig's technique as he looked to capitalize on every maneuver. To think that this incredible talent never held the two major titles in WWE and WCW is just crazy. If you really want to appreciate his work, take a look at his matches with Dean Malenko and Ric Flair in WCW, as well as his matches with Bret Hart in WWE. Number 7, Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero is one of the most beloved, gifted and influential technicians. His technical skills were always superb, going out there in the ring and performing with grace and charisma. Eddie was very well rounded. He was not only a high flyer, but he knew how to technically wrestle and had some amateur pedigree. Mixing American mat wrestling with his Lucha Libre background, Eddie was extremely talented, could change moves in midstream, and could face opponents of any size while making it look legit. Eddie could take people to the ground with his holes and submissions, but also with added agility by using his drop kicks and tornado DDTs. Eddie knew so many different aspects of the business. He was very efficient in learning all the different wrestling styles and mastered them all. His matches against Rey Mysterio and Dean Malenko in particular really stand out. Number 6, Dean Malenko. The man of 1000 holes and the two-time winner of the Best Technical Wrestler Award, there's not many wrestlers more synonymous with technical wrestling than Dean Malenko. Even though he wasn't a top star, he put on some amazing performances and matches. Malenko has a lifetime of wrestling knowledge and development. He spent significant time in Japan, Mexico and Europe, as well as the US territories and major promotions. His biggest strength was being able to work any style, but especially a map based style, a good ground technique, a lot of holds, a lot of counters. Dean had a hold for everything, a counter for everything, and a counter for the counter of the hold. He was always smooth and tactile in the ring, especially with the way he moved and transitioned. Before he was in WCW, he had this amazing trilogy of matches with the late Eddie Guerrero. In WCW, he had more great matches with Eddie, as well as Chris Jericho and others. Sadly, when he got to WWE, they just didn't know what to do with him. Number 5, William Regal. William Regal doesn't get remembered much, but his technical skills are incredible. Mixing British catch with American brawling and Japanese puroresu. 
Regal was one of the definitive technicians of his period. He knew how to put you in a hole, tying and twisting you like a screw, suplexing you with his Regal Plex and submitting you to his Regal Stretch. William Regal could hurt you in so many different ways. He would apply joint locks and then also put an elbow in the joint to make it hurt even more. He was so good at the grinding part of technical wrestling and using leverage to really hurt people. His skills were overlooked and it's sad that he didn't get a push to be world champion. If you were to watch his more recent match with Cesaro in NXT in 2013, you'll be able to get a small taste of his technical skills. William Regal will forever be remembered as a legendary technician in between the ropes. He inspired so many to learn the craft and perfect it, mixing the artistry of technical wrestling and the brawling no-nonsense style. Number four, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan has become acclaimed for his devastating collection of strikes and submissions, alongside his unique character changes throughout the years. There has not been too much to be impressed with in the modern era when it comes to technical wrestling in the WWE, but Bryan really does shine at making technical wrestling fun to watch. He is by far the best modern technical wrestler in the business. The thing that sets Bryan apart from most wrestlers today is that he's a wrestling purist. He stays true to mat wrestling and isn't too flashy. He doesn't rely on brute force or strength, but rather his skill and technique. A record eight-time winner of the Best Technical Wrestler Award, this award was even named after him after his retirement. He keeps things very fast-paced in the ring and uses a nice mix of MMA moves to complement his submissions. Brian is extremely fluid in and out of holes and is great with reversals. Even William Regal, a master technician in his own right, said, he's taken bits from every single one of us and updates them, which makes him better than everybody else. Number three, Chris Benoit. First and foremost, Benoit's actions leading up to his death in 2007 will always overshadow his legacy, but there is no denying that professionally, he was one of the best technical wrestlers ever. His raw intensity with his style of grappling was phenomenal. With the rabid Wolverine, every moment was filled with adrenaline rushes. He often did hardcore and high-risk moves as part of his moveset, but at his core, he was a great technician. His moves flowed, his repertoire of submission holes were unmatched, and he executed every throw and suplex beautifully. His snap suplexes were intense, his German suplexes were high impact, and he was great at executing submissions such as the crossface and the sharpshooter. His matches against the likes of Stone Cold, Chris Jericho and Kurt Angle were just so crisp and fluid. He's also been voted best technical wrestler on five separate occasions, which shows how well respected his technical abilities were amongst both critics and peers. Number two, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle is one of the most gifted wrestlers in the ring. He's probably best known for his ruthless aggression style which incorporates high impact moves and brawling elements. But first and foremost, he's one of the best technical wrestlers in WWE history. Unlike many others on this list, Angle was not well travelled in his pro wrestling style. He was mainly amateur trained in the Greco-Roman style, as this is the style you'd see most in standard real wrestling matches. But he showed he could hang with literally any wrestler, and he even had great matches with wrestlers who fans wouldn't consider as great, such as John Cena, JBL and Shane McMahon. Every big match Angle did in WWE is still remembered today, with his best either being against Shawn Michaels at Mania 21 or Chris Benoit at Royal Rumble 2003. A huge part of his success as a technical wrestler comes from his time before joining the WWE. He legitimately knows how to wrestle better than almost anyone else on the roster because he was the only Olympic gold medalist in WWE history. There is a reason most in the locker room went to him when they wanted to put on a 5 star match. Oh it's true, it's damn true. Number 1, Bret Hart. When you look at Angle, he would incorporate aggressive, high impact moves into his style. Benoit would incorporate a brawling into his style, and Guerrero would incorporate high flying moves into his style. But Bret Hart was largely technical through and through. If you're talking actual wrestling skills, telling a story in the ring, and being able to hold the crowd's emotions in the palm of his hand, then Bret is arguably the best at it. Despite the fact that technical wrestling can be considered slow and boring, Bret showcased time and time again that grappling could be quick and exciting. Especially when paired with someone with comparable skills, everything he did looked smooth yet punishing to his opponents. Bret Hart's legacy among fellow performers and fans cements him as one of the greatest technical wrestlers of all time. He was so good that just his in-ring skills alone got him over with the fans. Bret Hart could literally give a 5 star match any time. Even though many people's opinions of him have soured because of his bitter attitude towards others, there's no denying his ability in his prime. The Hitman, in my opinion, truly was the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be when it comes to pure technical wrestling. So there you have it, that's my list. As always, it'll spark great debate between you all, so feel free to express your opinions in the comments and respectfully tell me how right or wrong I really am. But if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.